Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Carousel. In the last video, we did a little Photoshop magic and exported the image assets for the carousel into our images folder. Here they are, carousel one, the large one, large two, large three, medium one, two, three, small one, two, three. That's what we did. And if you didn't have Photoshop, you would have skipped right to this lecture and you were instructed to copy the Sans Photoshop images folder into your website images folder, the contents of this one straight into this one. So you didn't have to do any of the Photoshop stuff at all. All right, so let's get coding the carousel and go back to your index.html file under the nav bar that we coded previously, you should see the div with the class of carousel and the ID of my carousel. In the code chunks folder of the course files, that was C carousel. This is what we will be coding. This is the whole thing. And as I always say, you can use this for reference or you could straight up copy and paste it, but that's not gonna get you anywhere. You're not gonna learn anything that way. It's better to code it up, make some mistakes, and work through your bugs, reference this to make sure you're doing it right, rather than just copying and pasting. Let's start coding the carousel. So inside your carousel div tags, we are going to start by adding the wrapper for the slides. So let's add a comment here so we know what we're coding so it's not too confusing once we get a lot of HTML in there. Wrapper for slides, okay. Div, give it the class of carousel inner. This is a bootstrap three whoops, class and it's it's required to put this inside of your carousel so that you can get everything functioning properly. And inside the carousel inner tags, we're gonna put div with the class of item. Close that. And inside item, we are going to add a div, the class of carousel caption. And within the carousel caption, this is probably pretty self-explanatory. This div is going to be the text that displays on top of the carousel background image. So inside of here, let's put a level four heading and let's say bootstrap three. And within uh, or under that rather, we're gonna add a paragraph tag and we're gonna write learn how to build your first responsive website with the brand new Twitter bootstrap whoops three save so this is the first carousel item that you added but we're not quite done yet we need to add a little bit more here so we need to give this first carousel item the class Actually, no, let's leave that for later. Forget I said that. ID, let's give it the ID of slide one. We need each of these items that we're gonna be adding to have their own unique slide ID. Okay, so let's copy this item and, and under it, let's add another item. Change that to slide two and let's change the level four heading to learn to code a website in four hours and let's change the paragraph to PSD to HTML5 you can literally write whatever here you don't have to write all this but if you want to you can CSS3 is a popular Udemy course that has helped thousands of aspiring web designers launch their web design career. Save. Next item. Copy this one below this. Changes to slide three. And the title will be 
Okay, that didn't work. Web hosting 101. Learn how to buy a perfect domain name and hosting package and get your website live on the web with ease. That's what it is, with ease, save. All right, so we have the three slides in there. And what we need to do now, because if I were to save this and check out the website, there's nothing in the source code it will be there. Here's the carousel stuff, but nothing's showing up. Why is that? That's because we're not done yet. So let's add the class of active to the first slide. And this isn't going to show up yet because we have yet to do some CSS. But you need to add the class of active to the first slide and JavaScript, the JavaScript carousel plugin that Bootstrap supplies, or that is supplied in our JS folder, rather. Sorry, the Bootstrap JS folder. In that carousel JavaScript plugin, it's going to swap the active class to the current carousel item that is being displayed, whether you're navigating by pressing the arrows or the little dots at the bottom here, the little indicators. So you need to start that by showing this, uh, giving this the class of active. But nothing's showing up yet. And that's because we still have some CSS to do to make this carousel work properly. So before we get into the CSS, let's add one more thing actually two more things to this carousel HTML. Let's add the indicators, those little circle indicators that I, that I showed you at the bottom of the carousel under the carousel caption. So let's add a comment that says indicators and an unordered, sorry, an ordered list, OL. And give the OL a class of carousel indicators, carousel dash indicators. That's a Bootstrap 3 class. That's going to help us just put those carousel indicators in there without doing any extra CSS ourselves. So let's add a list item. Three list items, rather. And inside the list item, the first one is going to have the class of active because the first slide is going to be active. And then we're going to add another attribute, data dash slide dash two equals and within strings put the number zero and that is going to what's going to happen is when you click on the first circle it's going to slide the uh, carousel to the first slide and I know this seems a little confusing because it's a zero it's not one but uh, this recognizes zero as the first slide because zero is the first number. So the first slide would be zero, second slide is one, the third slide is two. I know it's a little confusing, but us web developers are funny people. Data dash target will be the next attribute you'll add within the li item. And we need to give the carousel indicators some sort of target to look for. And that target is the carousel itself. So the ID of my carousel, this ID right here. So this LI or this uh, carousel indicator is going to look for the ID of my carousel so that it can make this function. Okay, and we're going to add the same stuff, not the class of active, but the two extra attributes to the other list items, but we have to change a couple things. So not data slide to zero, data slide to one, which would be the second slide, and data slide to two, as in the third slide. So we've added the carousel indicator HTML. It's probably not gonna show up in your website yet because we still have some CSS, but let's finish with the HTML and then we'll get to the CSS.
Next part is the controls, the left and right arrows on the each side of the carousel slide so that you can slide the carousel items. So uh, that's really easy to add. And we're going to do that right now under the carousel inner div tag. Add a comment to say controls so we know what we're looking at and all this HTML. And we just need to add two A tags. So A class of left and carousel dash, dash control. And then give it an attribute of data dash slide, which is a bootstrap uh, attribute. Prev, as in previous. Give it an href of my carousel with the pound sign here, the little hash thing. And close that a tag. Within the a tag, we need to add a span with the class of icon prev. Close that span tag. Save that. To save some typing, copy that a tag, paste it again, and just change a couple things. So from left to right, data slide next. This is this is fine. Icon next. Save. So that is it for the HTML for the carousel. So here's the carousel wrapper right here. We added our carousel indicators, our wrapper for all the slides and three individual items. And then we added the carousel controls. So this is all the HTML you need. And all we need to do is just a little CSS to make this thing work and to get it up and running and look awesome. So we're gonna do that in the next lecture. See you there, my friends.